my part, kids. Welcome to Countdown to Christmas with Advent Blocks. We are looking for block number one. When we turn block number one, we see a picture of an apple. So let's find story, story number one. How it all began. The story of Adam and Eve. Every story has a beginning. I'll bet you've read a lot of books that start with once upon a time or a long, long time ago in a land far, far away. But do you know how your story began? You might think your story begins when you were born, but it goes back further than that. It goes back before you were born, before your parents were born, before your parents' 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 parents', parents, parents were born. In fact, it goes back before anyone was born, all the way back to the very beginning. And in the very beginning, there was almost nothing. Uh, no people, no houses, no animals, no plants. Not you and not me. But someone was there. His name was God, and he was ready to write the greatest story anyone has ever told. It's your story and my story. And the story of every person who has ever lived it's a story about how much God loves his people, about how far away God seems sometimes, and about the lengths God would go to get his people back. It's a story about God making the wrong things right and the dark things light. And, as it turns out, it's also the story of Christmas. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Back to the beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing but God. So God looked around and said, let's take this nothing and make something. And that's just what he did. He saw darkness and said, sorry, darkness, I'm making light. Then he said, hey, that's good. He saw empty spaces and said, sorry, emptiness, I'm making planets. Then he said, hey, that's good too. He saw an empty earth and said, sorry, boring old empty earth, I'm making meadows and mountains, tiny creeks and enormous oceans, daffodils and dragonflies, hydrangeas and hippos. Then he said, hey, all of this is good. And last of all, he made the best part. Can you guess what it was? People. God made a man named Adam and a woman named Eve. They were special because God had made them to think like him and act like him. So God said, this isn't just good, this is really good. Adam and Eve were like children to God, so it was no surprise that the first thing they heard him say was, I love you. Adam and Eve lived every day with God in the garden he made for them called Eden. Until something went wrong. God had told Adam and Eve they could eat fruit from all the trees in Eden except one. Don't eat from this tree, God said, or the world will fill up with wrong and darkness. Death will come very close and I will seem far away. But there was a snake in the garden who lied to Adam and Eve. That's right, a talking snake. It's not wrong, the snake said, and death won't come close at all. Just one bite. What's the worst that could happen? Eve picked the fruit and ate some. So did Adam. They chose their way over God's way, which is what we call sin. Immediately, everything changed. God knew what had happened and his heart began to break. Oh, he went to check on Adam and Eve, but all they wanted to do was hide. They didn't want to see him. So God gave them the terrible thing they wanted, to go away from God. God sent Adam and Eve out of the garden and away from him. In the years to come, when life was difficult, when the ground was hard, when the world was filled with wrong and with darkness, Adam would think back to the garden. He would remember the day when God was with him and Eve. But outside the garden, God seemed far away. So Adam and Eve began to hope and to pray, God, will you bring us back one day? God, will you come back to stay? And that's story number one. 